I'm a cellist. I got into cello in first grade when my parents put me into like a little string orchestra thing. So I've been playing music pretty much my entire life. Towards the end of middle school, um, my uh, orchestra teacher would occasionally take us up to Chicago uh, to see the Chicago Symphony rehearse, which they're one of the best symphonies in the world and they're definitely my favorite just because I know people within the orchestra. Um, but seeing music at that high of a level, I think, was definitely what made me click and say, hey, I want to be that good. I want to be able to do that. They have a group, and they're a string quartet called the Blue, Ch Blue Chameleon String Quartet. Um, and they play both classical stuff and they do folk stuff on their own. The cellist from their quartet and I have our own separate group, which is just a cello duo called uh, the Sonic Sea Pirates, that we have a podcast for and we do a lot of improvisation folk type stuff. Sometimes it is reserved for like other groups to have coachings, but generally not a lot of people use this room, so we've kind of just adopted it into our space. Like, that whiteboard over there, that's our base that we just keep in here all the time. I would like to see a lot more emphasis placed on uh, instrumental music rather than choral music. Um, nothing against singers. Um, but, yeah, I would like to see a little more attention paid to the instrumentalists here. In Deutschland feiert er wie wild auf dem Oktoberfest. In der Schweiz legt er ein Konto an, das ist riesenfest. So, my name is Leander Krawinkel and um, I don't play any instruments. Like, I used to learn a lot. So, I played the saxophone, piano, flute, but currently I rap. Dann geht es weiter nach Amerika. I rap in German and seeing people writing on my German rap that they never listened to before was insane. The energy I give to them on stage, it's crazy, it's beautiful. And then exactly in these moments, I know why I do this. I know why I rap. So yeah, I performed and it was really cool. Do you think the school is trying to like maintain any sort of image musically? Mm, I think they definitely try to maintain like the classical image because I mean that's what they're renowned for like they're really known for the classical department so I mean I understand it from like a strategic viewpoint. I worked yesterday like past I snuck into Christmas fest don't tell anybody <laughs> and it was crazy I had goosebumps like I've never sung like students sing like this like it's insane they're really good so i understand like it's it's really touching i got a condo in manhattan baby girl what's happening uh, my name is alex hemmer and i'm a senior majoring in sociology and anthropology and i sing and play guitar i'm danny harrington I'm an environmental studies major, um, and I play the drums um, primarily, but I play guitar and do some singing as well. Music was this huge, huge way for me to heal. It was just the quickest way for me to feel like myself on, in a place and in the middle of multiple situations that made me feel like I uh, was completely estranged. 
even describe how I'm feeling right now Cause you mess with my mind, don't you even try to explain yourself now. I was really, really frustrated this particular day in my freshman year because of everything that was going on and I picked up my guitar, started ranting while singing and just strumming really hard and then I wrote a song um, out of frustration and there was this opportunity at the time to record a music video through a student organization that was interested in um, collecting original songs from artists and a friend of mine was like, you write songs, you just, just submit it. And I thought, well, I'm not trying to make a music video, this is, my music's personal. A few things became very clear. People didn't have enough recording equipment, people didn't have a regular rehearsal space, and we're using these classic music rehearsal spaces to do like YouTube recordings and album recordings, and it was just clear that we were making use of what we had rather than actually having the stuff that we really needed. It sucks to take the bus with all of your stuff. Yeah. I wish we had immediately a shared resource among campus musicians to, to share equipment. I wish the school noticed there was that growing interest and invested money in that direction. So I started to rely on the contemporary music or contemporary musician network on campus. So people like me and Danny, Sal, Paolo, and other campus bands to kind of talk about how we could keep doing what we wanted to do in a place that doesn't necessarily provide those opportunities. Suddenly, I stepped in front of that choir and I feel like it just, it, it literally changed my trajectory. I'll never forget the first downbeat and my hands came, came down, the sound came out and it was like a miracle. I feel like every once in a while I'll have a conversation with somebody who's interested in, in um, aspects of, of music that we're, we're not currently set up to support as well as, as maybe one day we could. Uh, for example, um, like sound, sound production, recording, um, some of the, the, the industry aspects of music making. I've often wondered like what, what are some ways that we could expand our palette uh, to offer um, you know, ways for, for student musicians who are, who are interested in, in whether it's, it's student bands or, or um, groups of any sort, like pop, uh, hip-hop, um, folk, those kinds of more small ensemble things that, how does, how could the music department have resource for, for that? I think the only, the only things that come to my mind is, um, when, when, when you have a creative impulse, like, pursue it. Don't, don't let it die. Go for it. Like, there's something in you when you have those, that, that, that flame starts to grow that needs to be, needs to be fed and, um, and let, let it, let it out, let it go. I mean, it, it's gotta be, it, it, it's something that I think is part of what makes uh, our world so beautiful. So when we get to, get to let our, our artistic sensibility guide our life in a beautiful way. Let the peeps play it.